Hey guys, welcome back to this amazing playlist of Google Ads series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a proper and effective shopping campaign in Google Ads. In the previous videos, we have shown you how to set up your merchant account, how to add products in your merchant account. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you a proper step by step campaign creation process, which is going to be the shopping campaign creation process, right? So let's get into the video and learn how to do this. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Google ads account and now in order to create a shopping campaign or any other campaign, you just simply have to create this plus icon. Obviously, you know this. Otherwise, you can click on this new campaign button as well. Once we click here, it will ask that uh, you want to create a new campaign or you want to just resume your campaign, which is in draft. So let's create a new campaign. Now here you have to select your objective. Basically, you want to run shopping campaigns. So obviously, you'll select sales. But to show you all the settings, all the options, I'm going to select create a campaign without goal guidance so that we can see all the settings, all the options in our campaign creation process, right? Then we have to select our campaign type. So obviously, this is going to be the shopping campaign. So select this. Now, here are the conversion goals which we have already created in our previous videos, in our previous campaign creation processes, right? But in this particular campaign creation process, we need only purchase goal. Basically, we don't need call leads, page views, contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all these goals, right? So as you can see, I'm removing all these conversion goals. Remove this one as well. Yeah, only purchase conversion goal is active here right now once you are done with your conversion goals here you have to select your account so right now as you can see my merchant center account has already been connected but there is no product in that merchant center so what you have to do is you have to add products in your merchant center before creating the campaign right but the process is same uh, I'm going with the account which which doesn't have any product, but the process is same. The campaign pr uh, creation process is same. If you have the product in your Merchant Center account, you'll not be able to see this message only. That's the difference only. Now, if you don't have connected your Merchant Center account here, then it will be asked that you have to connect your Merchant Center account before proceeding further. So how you can connect your Merchant Center account? So for that, you just have to go to your merchant center account which you have already created as i'm assuming now you have to click on this icon account icon not here you have to click on the setting icon here tools and settings and here you have to click on this in settings option you have to click on this linked account options and here you'll be able to see all these options basically you can connect these accounts so i have connected google ads obviously and this is my linked account, right? If you want to link more accounts, you can click on link account. And here you have to enter your customer ID, right? And if you have created your merchant center account and your Google ads account with the same Gmail, then you don't have to add your customer ID. It will automatically detect your account, right? So I have already connected that account. That's why it is asking me to enter the customer ID, right? So this is connected. If you don't see this connected, you have to basically link your account right now. As you can see, my account has been already selected and I'm going with the no product basically. But as I've already told you that the process will be the same. Now here we have to select that which type of campaign you want to create performance max campaign or standard shopping campaign. So if you want to show your ads on all the other platforms instead of just shopping platforms basically where your shopping ads shows like if you select performance max campaign your ads will be shown on gmail your ads will be shown on youtube on every other platform which comes under google right but right now i'm going with the standard shopping campaign i'm just want to show my ads on shopping platform where shopping ads shown right so after selecting this i'm clicking on continue button now it is showing that now I'm in the campaign creation process. Now here you have to select the basically enter the campaign name. 
so you have to name your campaign let's say i'm writing shopping ads one right and these are the standard settings which are which are already been selected your type is basically campaign type is shopping and it is standard because we are running standard campaign right then your merchant id and then the feed is all product from all feeds right and then if you want to edit you can edit it as well but i don't want to so stay here now here we do have campaign name in additional settings we do have few more options so in inventory filter if i click on this you will get two options no filter advertise all product in the country of sale otherwise you can select advertise only product that matches or that match all of your requirement right so if you want to uh, advertise all products which is available in your merchant center can go with this otherwise if you want to apply any term or condition then you have to select this and here you can apply those terms or conditions right like let's say you just want to advertise any particular uh, item so you have to select item id and you have to enter that item id here right otherwise if you want to select any uh, different or any particular category then you have to select category and you have to enter the categories here one by one right then we do have brands basically let's say you have multiple brands in your merchant account right so you can select those specific brands which you want to advertise only so this is how you can apply the inventory filter right different different kind of filters you can apply different kind of conditions you can apply into your campaign right so right now i'm going with advertise all products right also it is recommended as well as well but it is totally up to you then we have local products what is the meaning of local products basically if you have physical store along with your online store if you have physical store so you can turn on this option and this will show the products which are available in your physical store as well right let's say you want to advertise your online products as well as your uh, physical stores products which is which are available in your physical store so you can select this option you can turn on this option and you will be able to show the products which are available on your physical store and you have to add those products in your merchant center right so right now i'm turning off this option then we have this campaign url campaign url option if you want to add tracking campaign basically url tracking right so this is option for that now once we are done with general settings we are into our bidding and budgeting option now here right now it is already set on manual cpc which we are going to select otherwise you can go with other options as well like maximize clicks or target ros so it is totally up to you that which bidding option you want to choose so we are going with manual cpc and in manual cpc we do have two options optimize for conversion or optimize for conversion value so it is obviously totally up to you that you want to optimize your campaign for your conversion value or conversions only so i'm going with optimize for conversions right then we do have budget that what are what is the budget you want to give to this campaign basically how much money you want to spend let's say it is in rupee so i'm going to use 1600 which is around roughly 20 dollars right so this is my daily budget 20 dollars every day right then in campaign priority option we do have if i click on this i get these three options so what is this campaign priority option basically if you are creating multiple shopping campaigns and you want to give priority to any one of your particular shopping campaign so you have to select high priority on that particular campaign right but if you do have only one campaign then it is no point of selecting these options right so for that you have to uh, go with the default option which is low right and it is written over there as well right uh, like recommended if you have only one shopping campaign right so if you have only one shopping campaign so there is no point of selecting any option a priority option right but if you have multiple campaigns in your account multiple shopping campaigns i'm talking about only shopping campaigns right so if you have multiple shopping campaigns in your account then you have to set the priority for your campaign right so i do have only one campaign so i'm going with the default option then obviously search network if you want to show your ads on google partner search network as well so you can select this option otherwise you can uncheck this box right 
Now, once you uncheck this box, you'll get this message. Most advertisers include their ads on Google search partner sites as well. So it is totally up to you that if you want to check this box or not. Then we do have devices. So by default, your ads will be shown all devices. Then you have location option. So it is on you that which location or city or area you want to select or the country you want to select for your campaign. So right now I'm in Delhi, so I'll be selecting Delhi city only, right? So I'm clicking on this option, enter another location and here I'm writing Delhi, Delhi, India Union Territory. So I've selected Delhi, right? So Delhi city will be my target location. Then here in target option, we do have two options, presence or interest and presence only. So presence or interest means people who are showing interest for that location and people who are living in that location will be targeted if you select this option but if you select this option then people who are living in that particular location will be targeted only right people who are searching for that location or people who are uh, showing interest for that location will be not targeted so i'm going with this one although it is recommended but i'm going with this one people who are living in that particular location and in my case people who are living in delhi will be targeted only right then we we do have to select campaign start and end it if you want you can add it otherwise you can leave it like this right let's say you want to run your campaign after three days so you can select the date and if you want you can add the end date as well right it is totally up to you then you have to name the ad group name then you have to set the bid that what is the maximum cost you are willing to pay so for that maximum i can pay up to one dollar which is 80 rupees right so my cpc cost per click will be 80 rupees right so here is my overall campaign budget and here is my bidding that how much uh, i'm willing to pay if i get a click on my ads right now click on create campaign every detail has been filled properly now we just have to click on create campaign now as you can see new campaign added and here we do have the campaign which is live right now right now obviously it is under the review process and once the review is done the campaign will be live so that's how you can create a proper shopping campaign i hope you learned from this video and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video who want to learn google ads right i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye